Okay, we got the file from uh, Roger. He uh, created uh, an X file from us, so we can import it uh, from CAD. We can also do from drawing, but in this case we'll do from a CAD system, 3D uh, model with PMI from NX. You can see that we can import uh, all the views from the 3D model. And uh, here you can see the trimetric uh, view. Uh, we can also rotate it so you better understand what the model is all about. In the right hand corner you can see the grey cube also rotating uh, with us so we know how we are oriented. On the right side we can see all the views that were imported, like uh, basic views from the CAD system, but also the user views with all the dimensions that uh, Roger created for us. Um, we'll concentrate on the views with the dimensions. We can see a bottom view with a dimension, a section A, section B, trimetric view with the dimensions that uh, Roger explained. We can also uh, see the uh, model was already uh, pre-ballooned uh, with the balloons in, uh, in the model. And uh, this is on all views, it's the same. All uh, uh, dimensions are, uh, well, all PMI are uh, already uh, ballooned and now we can drag also dimensions from one view to another view. We moved one dimension to the trimetric view, rotate it a little bit and then we can also see that view in a new view of that trimetric view. We can save it uh, so you can modify uh, all of these views as much as you like. In the bottom we can see all the uh, characteristics of this part. For instance also a, a datum C, which is a datum, which is also ballooned. But uh, we don't need that balloon. That's not necessary for our quality process. So uh, we already suppressed that uh, balloon. I'll unsuppress it, show you that, it, that it's there. And we can uh, suppress, unsuppress and even delete uh, already created uh, balloons. So in that case we can modify uh, the information in the model and just take out what we need for our quality process. And at the end uh, we can uh, then extract all the uh, views with the GDNTs, with the PMI, uh, to views to handle in Inspection Manager for the quality process. This is the extraction and at the end we will see all the views uh, translated to be used in Inspection Manager with the dimensions and also the dimension that we moved from one view uh, to the trimetric uh, view. So let's look the at the result after extraction uh, from the 3D model to the uh, views. And here we can see the result with the bottom view and uh, several section views and also the trimetric view. Section A, section B and the trimetric view. In the trimetric view we can see the dimension that we uh, modified and that we transported from one view to another one. Okay, when we look at this uh, section uh, we can look at this uh, dimension. Uh, we see the G7 indication, but no tolerances yet. We can add those tolerances uh, from a uh, ISO hole and shaft tolerance table that we created in our system. And you can always uh, switch to those uh, dimensions. So we are adding information to the bill of characteristics that we had from the system. Here you can see the tolerance table. In this case, the hole and shaft uh, for G7 uh, dimension round 10. Uh, we can also add other uh, information uh, to the uh, dimensions. And uh, for instance, in the trimetric view, we had uh, a few reference dimensions. Reference dimensions don't have a tolerance. And we can add that tolerance from uh, by hand, for instance, from uh, the information that we got from the extra sheet that Roger was uh, mentioning. So I'm adding information uh, to these dimensions. Uh, we can also do that in bulk update, but in this case I'll do it uh, two dimensions uh, uh, in a time. In the bottom view we saw one dimension which uh, in fact is for four instances of that threshold. It's a threshold M4, 
uh, pitch 07 and a depth of 10. Uh, for, the, uh, for this uh, dimension we can add a multiplier as we call it, so uh, it's four times in this uh, view. We will multiply it later. Uh, for the depth we see here, uh, we can add an extra characteristic to this feature uh, with add dimension and we'll uh, indicate that it's a depth dimension, this depth dimension uh, of 10 millimeters also add a tolerance from the general tolerance uh, table and then uh, add it to this uh, feature. This is also uh, multiplied uh, by 4 and we can see in my bill of characteristics I have two lines now and as soon as I hit the multiply button we can see what happens and in my settings uh, I'm getting uh, extra uh, balloon numbers I can place those balloon numbers to where I think uh, feature number 1, 2, 3 and 4 is. So there is no more interpretation uh, from my colleagues from the shop floor where to fill out uh, the results for these instances of these features. So we have uh, now four groups of two characteristics per feature. Um, and uh, this is an example how to add information. I can also add a dimension, for instance uh, a, a surface profile uh, dimension uh, that was uh, mentioned by Roger uh, on uh, the 110 uh, sheet. I can uh, add it uh, manually in the dimension editor and I'll uh, call it a, a surface profile dimension with datums A, B and C and a value of uh, 0.2 uh, millimeters and this dimension is then added to our bill of characteristics and uh, I can also uh, place it uh, on the drawing if I want to. Let's place it on the uh, trimetric uh, view. This is not mandatory, you can do it. So it's also visible for the people in the shop floor. At this point I can also take the uh, 160 sheet that Roger mentioned. So I can uh, add uh, any kind of document in PDF format to this part and it will become an extra view to this part, in this case uh, uh, the view with the 160 sheet and I can uh, also uh, add uh, a note, so I'll take the GSA uh, description for the uh, cleanness uh, that Roger mentioned, I'll grab it uh, with the OCR recognition, optical character recognition, it'll create a note uh, from this uh, PDF and add it to the bill of characteristics. This can also be added to a view if I want to, but it's uh, not necessary to do this. I'll make it a custom pass fail note, so at the end my colleagues can say it's passed or it's failed or it's accepted. Um, this, these are examples how to create information, add information, uh, to the minimum dimension model, because it's still a minimum dimension model. And you need more information to be able to uh, process uh, this part and to create uh, that part. Um, also, uh, measurement gauges are added uh, automatically. We do that from our uh, measurement gauge library. So you can also manage your gauges in uh, Inspection Manager in our system and have it added to uh, the dimensions according to the dimension type. I have some dimension types uh, associated with some uh, measurement gauge types, so they will be uh, populated on the bill of characteristics uh, automatically. But of course you can always uh, change this uh, manually uh, for each dimension. So you always, as a user, you can always determine uh, what uh, should be done on this uh, dimension. Um, an example of a thread hole is, is given and uh, you can change it to uh, another uh, gauge type if you want to. These are all examples of information that can be added and everything is stored in our SQL database and 
Uh, another feature that is very important are manufacturing operations. Let's see a manufacturing operation, for instance, for these uh, dimensions, these reference dimensions that were uh, specified by uh, Roger as the uh, outer uh, dimensions of this uh, part. I add an operation and uh, uh, these two dimensions are now part of that operation. Um, and this uh, operation, uh, uh, the dimensions for this operation, uh, should not be the same as uh, the dimensions that are on the drawing, because this uh, is a uh, these are the rough material uh, dimensions, for instance. It's just an example to show that we can work with manufacturing operations. Uh, I have to change those dimensions to be the rough dimensions that someone has to check when they cut the rough material. So I'll add a few millimeters to the uh, uh, nominal uh, dimensions, the nominal value of these dimensions. So I'll add them to uh, that uh, nominal uh, dimension and I'll set the tolerance to plus minus one millimeter. Okay. And now you can see that for this uh, manufacturing operation, those dimensions are changed to other nominal values with other tolerances. So the people on the shop floor will receive information uh, on that operation in, uh, with the nominal values they uh, really uh, need. That's uh, important uh, to know. Um, next. Um, we can uh, create a sample and we are creating a sample to receive uh, result information for this part. Of course we can also add job and lot information but I'll just uh, make a sample now. We can see that it's set for 23 values to receive and when I concentrate on uh, this sample then I can uh, enter uh, values, uh, result values, uh, into Inspection Manager. They can be collected uh, in Inspection Manager. And uh, we'll do that in the Result Editor. And in this Result Editor, I'm going to choose for sample number 5 that I just created. Everything is grayed out. You can see on the drawing uh, screen that everything is grey, no results are received yet and I'm going to import results from a CMM. So import from file, choose a, uh, a sample file, uh, in this case a CSV file that can come from your uh, CMM, your measuring machine, attach it to sample number 5 and we can see the results are read into uh, our bill of characteristics and in this case it's in this view we can see all the dimensions that were already read and are correct are in, uh, in green. And those, uh, this can be viewed uh, live from what's, uh, what's happening. Of course, I can also add uh, information manual in, uh, manually in uh, Inspection Manager. I'll pass this, um, uh, um, uh, so this uh, thread hole, sorry. And uh, you can see the result in the Bill of Characteristics and also on the drawing. Okay, we're also going to show uh, import uh, collection results from our uh, shop floor application, Inspection Manager uh, Explorer. And uh, we can log in to this uh, tablet application. Uh, I call it tablet application, but it can also run on any Windows machine. We select the part that we were working on. And here we can see our uh, job that we were working on, job number one, with my sample number five that we already uh, entered some results. Those results are green as you can see, uh, green on the drawing and also green in the menu. Let me add some extra information, result information of course, uh, to this uh, part and I'll uh, use the M4 uh, in, in the bottom view. I say these are passed, they also had a depth value added uh, to it, so I can enter a value to, uh, to this uh, depth dimension and make it uh, fit uh, uh, within the tolerance of course. Uh, let's also add for another uh, instance uh, of this M4 uh, hole uh, a pass for uh, another instance and a depth for another instance. Of course you can also use 
uh, connected uh, uh, measurement gauges, uh, Bluetooth uh, caliper for instance, uh, to enter uh, values or any other uh, Bluetooth connected uh, device can be uh, used, Bluetooth or connected uh, by cable. When we added that information, I can also view it in Inspection Manager to show you that it's in one SQL database. Every information is stored in the SQL database. And here you can see the results that are added uh, to this uh, view uh, and collected from our application from the shop floor. And at the end, we can create a report, of course, because that's why we entered all the information and collected the information. I'll use an uh, uh, aviation standard uh, uh, 9102 template to create this uh, report, but you can create your own reports. We have a Form 1, a Form 2 and a Form 3 in this uh, report with all the results that were collected from the CMM, entered by hand or collected by the shop floor application. And as you can see, all the information is stored in our SQL database. Also the files and the drawings, balloon drawings and the report. Um, we have many more other uh, information in the system or other functionality in the system like the gauge management that we already mentioned, an SPC module uh, of course that, uh, that can be used and also a machine synchronization to uh, uh, collect information from other CMMs.